Shaw and I'm here to introduce to you silicone shapes manufactured by Edible Supply. They're great for working with sugar, learning pulled sugar, and also chocolate. They also produce a wonderful variety of sugar transfer sheets. What I like about these sheets is that they don't melt. They will take a higher heat than the average transfer sheet and so they're perfect for working with sugar. I have my sugar melted over here. I'm going to create some little discs. The thicker disc used with the thicker sheet is what I use for the base. Anything that you're making that you're adding designs to needs to have a thicker base, but the top section, any disc that you have above that, should be thinner and more delicate. So let me show you how to work with these. I have my isomalt melted. It's at a temperature of about 200 degrees. It's a little hot to hold, but if you melt it and hold it under a lamp, you're going to find that um, you don't need to keep it in your hands for very long. Just cut off a piece with a pair of scissors from the center of your sugar, about the size of a marble. Place that into the center of your mold, press it down, and very quickly, with your rolling pin, roll it in. Use your fingers to make sure, by this time it will be cooler, so you can use your fingers. Use your fingers to make sure that it comes right to the edge of the mold, and roll it over the surface with your rolling pin. So we'll let that cool, and then I'm going to go to the thicker one. For the thicker one, I'm going to go with probably about an eighth of an inch larger marble size. Working with your sugar. It's hot enough to, to hold, it's hot enough to cut, and it's hot enough to work with the transfer sheet, but not so hot that it's actually going to melt it. So push it in with your fingers, making sure you get all the way to the edges, and then using your rolling pin, smooth it out. This is a very quick way of making all sorts of little plaques, Christmas decorations. The design that we have here is a Christmas design. So this should be nicely cooled, remove, your mat. So here we have a nice thick base to create a design and the nice thin top. To join the two together just dip your little disc into sugar and sit it on here, hold it until it sets. And there you have a beautiful little disc you could set a, a little rose in the front of that. Makes a great table decoration for Christmas, an awesome decoration for on a cake, or even to present a chocolate truffle.